if the penalty had gone in. Gascoigne scored that wonderful goal at the toilet top. Please do so. I get, I get my, my own back in a way. <laughs> Passion. Michael will be reporting from Wembley for us tomorrow. That's all from breakfast this morning. Back tomorrow, of course, at 6 a.m. Now it's time for Morning Live with Oti and Gethin. Thank you both. Coming up on Morning Live today, they face a daily battle just to breathe. And until now, over half the people who have cystic fibrosis probably wouldn't live beyond 40. But today we hear about the new wonder drug that's changing lives almost overnight. And it's one of nature's best weapons against COVID. We're talking about vitamin D. Skin expert Dr. Esho tells us how and when to apply sun cream to make sure we all get our doly days and stay protected against Cancer. Daily days, daily dose. Daily dose. It's one of those two. Oh, it's it? just one of those yeah, Fridays, it's isn't it? Of, I know that's what happens on a Friday sometimes, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> plus, ahead of today's special episode, bargain hunts. Eric Knowles had advice on how to find out if your old glass vases or ornaments could be worth thousands. Tip number one: try not to break it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Friday's Morning Live, where today we're waking up to the news that all remaining over 18s in England will be called for their COVID vaccinations, which is another positive for the final stages of the rollout, isn't it? And yes. positive for Morning Live today is that OT's on the swivel, Jane. Yay, Lovely good morning. You, as always. And uh, if you're wondering where Kim is, well, she's at home facing the biggest threat to date to a relationship with her fiancé, Scott, who's Scottish. England versus Scotland in the Euros. Uh, I know they're both watching and we'll be giving them and you and everyone else a heads up about who might win when we chat to BBC Sports presenter Kelly Summers later on. They will definitely be arguing tonight. They will be. In the Marsh they? household. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Escher is with us in the studio today. So now we're calling it. We reckon your son, Roman, is set to be a football star. He's yes. He's clipped, don't we? Yeah. He's good. He's, he's got that. the... He's got the Ronaldo uh, stance. Okay. He the loves start. it. He, he, he loves playing football. He's actually going to be going to football now, but the weather's a bit bad. Yeah. But he loves it. And the Ronaldo stance, he watches all the videos. So Gareth Southgate, if you're watching, <laughs> 90 million right now, sign him up. That's a campaign. He's coming home. You reckon he's watching Morning Live now, just chilling I, out I, before I, the I reckon, I reckon. I heard it's his favourite show. It'll be past Roman's bedtime tonight, though, but I know you will be watching the football. Definitely. Like millions of others. Uh, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, you were chatting about SPF, weren't you? You'll definitely want to pack your sunscreen for this so after we've brought you news that holidays to the amber destinations could be back on the cards today we're asking if you'd be willing to take the risk especially if it's a struggle to get holiday insurance yeah. and with the stamp duty holiday leading to the busiest property market for years carpenter Wayne Perry is here to tell us which simple renovations could add thousands to the value of your home good morning Wayne. Wayne. good morning. morning so how can we add value to our homes <laughs> Do you have any idea of what to expect? No, bring it on. Come on. Okay, yeah. OT, tell him. What are I we mean, doing? I the, mean, the good thing is that now you can't say no because you're here already. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be working out, you know, just to match the weather. We want to make it completely opposite to that fun, fit, and Friday goodness. The Friday feeling, that's what we like for Strictly Fitness. All right, but first, we talk about vitamin D a lot on this. This hopefully will actually hold out hope for other genetic conditions where uh, perhaps some of these technologies and lessons we have learned can be translated into treatment options. And it looks like the drug will be approved for children aged 6 to 12 as well. It's an incredible development, fingers crossed with that. Um, uh, but by the way, before we get into Strictly Fitness, I got my sporting knowledge slightly wrong Oh, it's fine. Because I said the last time that Scotland beat England at Wembley was 1977. It's kind of true, but thank you to all of you that pointed out uh, that Scotland did beat England at Wembley in 1999, but they lost in the competition on aggregate. So I was kind of right. I was kind of right. You Let were, me off. You were almost there. We'll Let me off. It's you. Friday. This is Strictly Fitness. Keep the music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not sure if it's right. Dance it out. Dance it out. What do we do? We dance it out. Dancing. Uh, Wayne's here. He's ready to go. What are the moves? Oaks? It's like his sleeves rolled up for this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing three movements, and with every movement, we're going to repeat it four times. So the first thing that we're going to do are the standing windmills, and I have to say that Gethin is going to do the modified version. He's going to be dancing with his plant, and Wayne will be here standing, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got his sleeves rolled out, which we love. So. We're going to take both arms and we're going to stretch them high as possible as we can above our heads and then we're going to roll to one side and go as low as you can and then you're going to come up once you get to the bottom and reach the other side. Now this is going to be a brilliant stretch and if you do it four or five times it helps to become an amazing oh. workout. 
The second one we're going to do are knee hugs. So you take one leg and you pull it into your chest as much as you can. Try not to lose your balance. If you do, you can hold a wall and you pull it on the other side. Oh if God, you... Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> it ready. Good. If you're going to do the modified version, don't be sorry, it's all right. You just have to touch the knee or the outside of your foot and go as low as you can. Again, you want to get that stretch in in the morning to get you ready for the weekend. And lastly, we're going to do modified star jumps. So we're going to jump out and back in. And we jump out and back in. And if you're doing the modified version, lift your arms as high as you can. This is a fun one for a Friday. I know, right? Let's find out what tune we got, shall we? Take With it away, fun Alan. Friday workout, <laughs> it's Somebody's just waiting for it. For the week Last as well. OC, thank you for today thank as always. You. Lovely to see you, Wayne. Thanks to all our guests today. Kim will be back on Monday when Katya Jones kickstarts our Strictly Fitness workout. And Dr. Poonam will also be here with the health headlines. Enjoy the football tonight if you're watching it. Come, Come on, on, Wales. Come on, England. I mean, good luck, Scotland. You know what I mean. <laughs> Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>